welcome. In this episode of How To, we are looking at bike drawing, ascents and descents. So, ascents first. Mental approach. When ascending on a longer climb, try and break it down into sections or goals, rather than trying to look at the climb as one long slog. So you will have section one, two, and three, depending on the length of the climb. Try and use something in sight as the marker of each section, and use that marker as your goal to complete that part of the climb. This will help you get up that climb a lot easier. Climbing technique and body position. When climbing, try and stay seated as much as possible. This will help your weight stay over the rear wheel, giving you better traction and grip and stop it slipping on the mud. Try and stay in a neutral position, which will help you keep the bike planted on the ground. However, as the ascent steepens, lean your body forward to help keep the front wheel down so you don't lose control of your steering. Gearing. Getting your gearing right before you climb the hill will help you pedal up at a steady, smooth pace. Trying to change gear too late can cause loss of momentum and potential damage to your drivetrain. Now you have the correct gear and you're using your body position to your advantage, you can work with your partner, as in your four-legged friend, to ascend up that hill. When doing this, make sure you communicate with your dog, either with giving them encouragement or guidance. Remember, it's a team effort. You can't just sit back and expect your dog to pull you up the hill. Effort from both sides is needed. If you find you're catching up with your dog on the climb, then it may be just because they are tired. So either back off your pace or ride to the side of them so your line doesn't get caught up. When it all comes together, there's nothing better than a team working together to ascend that hill. Now for the fun part, descending. Okay, so body position is very important. Move your bum back towards the rear wheel of the bike. Keep your arms and legs bent to help with taking these hits from the trail when you are descending. And stay relaxed. This allows your bike to dance under you whilst you keep control. Braking. Try not to be too grabby with your brakes. Stay smooth and controlled. You have to take into account you have your partner attached to the front. Any sudden movement and braking can throw them off and can possibly make them stop dead, which isn't good. Use the brakes to keep the line straight between you and your dog. You don't want to be running over it. Again, as I said before, using smooth braking will help you control your dog's descent as well as your bike's. Looking ahead, unlike normal mountain biking, you need to keep one eye on your dog and the other eye on the trail. Keep scanning ahead to work out the best route for you to guide your partner down on. And again, communicate with them when needed. If you need them to move left or right, make sure you give them enough notice to what is expected of them. When all these things come together, you can then enjoy the beauty that is bike drawing down a descent with your four-legged partner. We hope you liked this episode of How To. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content when it is released. Bye for now.